Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Steve Staples. I'm the chairperson of PeaceQuest. And I'm really excited today because we're featuring a brand new book that is dealing with real politics, but is optimistic. And it's done by my good friend, Douglas Roach, who is joining me from Edmonton. Recovery, peace prospects in the Biden era. Perfect timing with the election of Joe Biden in the United States. Now, Doug, you've met Joe Biden. What were your impressions of him and have they changed as you watched him campaign and win the presidency? Well, Steve, thanks. Uh, I met him in 2001 and when we were both speakers at a conference in Philadelphia. He was a senator in the United States. I was a senator in Canada. And um, I thought that he was a very uh, strong-minded and a very outgoing uh, politician. And I didn't think he was particularly progressive, uh, but he was um, progressive enough to appear at a meeting uh, designed to strengthen nuclear disarmament. You've used, you've put two words together, which I think you're describing Biden as pragmatic idealism. What, what does that mean and how does that capture Biden? Yes, well, he is, first of all, a very pragmatic man. He wants to be able to get things done. But I also call him, uh, Steve, I call him an ameliorator. An ameliorator is one who reaches out and uh, tries to connect with both sides of a controversy and um, does not impose his will, uh, but rather seeks some common ground. And I noticed as the years went by that uh, Biden was doing that when he was in the Senate and of course when he was vice president. And so when uh, 2020 arrived and the presidential campaign began with the Democrat primaries, I began to watch Joe Biden carefully and research his positions. And I said, well, I wonder what he would do on the peace agenda. I became increasingly impressed and I started to write and in the summer. And uh, as I was writing, uh, my, I felt my own spirits rising when I realized that this is a man who's not necessarily going to be a savior. He's not coming in on a white horse and going to save, save humanity. That's not the idea. What he is, is one who seeks to cooperate and said this very clearly that he wants to strengthen the multilateralism process in the world. And that multilateralism process was deeply, deeply damaged by the presidency of Donald Trump. You say that Biden has uh a triple threat or three emergencies that he's got to contend with. What are those? Well, the world is facing a triple emergency now, Steve. First, in the climate change, and it cannot be emphasized enough how what a dangerous time this is for the world in trying to get control of emissions. Second is nuclear weapons, the continuation of uh, some now 13,400 nuclear weapons that are still maintained by nine countries most of them held by the United States and Russia. On top of that now comes coronavirus, the third emergency. And for, for uh, we have not seen for a hundred years uh, such a calamity on health conditions and people uh, suffering and dying, uh, losing their jobs and homes, uh, people all around the world, every country has suffered from, uh, from the coronavirus. So that's the agenda. And that agenda can only be can only be handled with a cooperation uh, mechanism. Biden comes into office now with the possibility, and I think the intention, of strengthening the multilateral process so that, that generally we can move forward. Doug Roach's new book is called Recovery. Peace Prospects in the Biden Era. It's available through Amazon in printed copy and digital through Kindle.